Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to learn about a least common multiple. So still with civil service exam review, so numerical ability. So minsan may mga questions na finding the least common multiple of uh, given numbers. So yun pong discuss natin on how to find the least common multiples. <music> The least common multiple is the smallest possible number that can be divided by the given number. So, yun yung pinakamaliit na number that you can divide to a certain number. Now, you can also divide to another number. So, between the two numbers, dapat may kapareho sila na yun yung pinakamaliit na numbers that is both a multiple of the two given number. So, yun pong least or the smallest possible number. It is called the least common multiple. So, method one in finding your least common multiple, number one, uh, yung method natin, first method natin, ito yung rules natin. Number one, you have to write down the multiples of each number. So, meron tayong method in writing down the multiples. Meron tayong nagawa na video. Okay, actually. So, kung hindi nyo pa napanood, okay, so feel free to view uh, the video that we have made about... Uh, Multiples, okay? So, finding the multiples of a given number. So, dito, ang first step na is write down the multiples of each number. Second step is check for common multiples. So, kung may dalawang given number, na write down mo na ang lahat ng mga multiples of that number, check mo kung doon sa mga multiples nila ay mayroong bang magkapareho. Okay? So, kung mayroong magkapareho, the least number among the multiples is your least common multiple. So, so, kung meron, minsan marami niyang makap mag magkapareho. Okay? So, ang titignan mo kung alin yung pinakamaliit. Okay? So, the least number is the least common multiple. So, paano yan? So, mamaya igagawa tayo ng exercises para matuto natin yung first method. At meron din tayong tinatawag na second method. So, sa second method natin, ito naman yung rules niya in second method. So, give the prime factors for each number. Meron na din po tayong gumawa na video on uh, prime factorization. So, kung hindi nyo pa yun napanood, please uh, view po. Meron po tayong lecture na nagawa. Meron po video on prime factorization po. So, para ma madali po kayong matuto at ma-move on dito sa topic natin sa least common multiple. So, yun nga sa method number two. The first step is get the prime factors of each number. The second step is you write down the common factors only once. So, kung meron ka ng list of all the prime factors sa mga numbers na yun, isulat mo ng isang beses lamang yung factor na common sa dalawa. Okay? So, yung prime factor nga. So, then write the remaining factors. So, isulat natin yung mga walang kapareha na prime factors uh, among the two given numbers. So, isusulat natin yung factor nila. Natitirang factor na hindi magkapareho. Okay? So, paano ba to? You might be confused. Anyway, we're going to do some exercises for this. We're going to try doing the first method and we're going to do the second method. Okay, so let's try finding the least common multiple of 12 and 15. So let's try the first method. Sabi sa first method, you write down the multiples of each number. So try natin, ano ba mga multiples of 12? Sabi natin, in, doing, uh, in finding the multiples, we start natin like 12 times 1. Okay, that will give you 12. Next is you multiply 12 times 2. That will give you 24. Next is 12 times 3, that is 36. Hindi ko na ipapakita sa inyo kung paano mag-multiply. I'm sure you know how to multiply numbers. Okay? So, next is we have 12 times 4, that will give us 48. 12 times 5 is 60. And we have 12 times 6, that is 72. Okay? So, stop muna tayo dito. Let's try naman sa 15. Sa 15, let's try 15 times 1. That will give you 15. 15 times 2, that is 30. 15 times 3, that is 45. 15, 15 times 4, that is 60. 
and 15 times 5, that is 75. So, if you have noticed, stop na tayo dito. Okay? Stop na tayo dito. Bakit? May pareho na. Okay? So, meron na po tayong least common multiple. This is the lowest. Okay? The least number na common multiple both kay 12 at saka kay 15. So, meaning to say, 60 is the least common multiple of 12 and 15. So, siya po yung LCM natin. So, let's try the second method. Paano ba yung steps sa second method? Sabi sa second method, get the prime factors of each number. So, let's try finding the factors of each number, the prime factors. So, let's try finding the prime factors of 12. So, sabi natin, uh, prime factors, you have to look for prime numbers. So, doon sa lecture natin on prime factorization, na-define po natin doon kung ano ang prime numbers. So, sabi nga, ang prime numbers is a number when in, wherein ang factor niya is only one in itself. So, wala nang ibang factor siya, kundi ang one at saka ang sarili niya. So, kung ang isang number naman ay hindi one in itself lang ang kanyang factor, may ibang factor pa siya. So, meaning to say that particular number is a composite number, hindi siya prime. Okay? So, sabi nga natin, among the even numbers, only number 2 is a prime number. Bakit? Kasi si number 2 lang ang may factor na 1 in itself. Wala nang iba. ba? Kung gusto natin maghanap ng factors of 2, it's only 1 times 2. Okay? So, let's try starting with 2. So, 2 times 6. Kung multiply natin si 2 at si 6, makuha natin ang 12. Therefore, ito ay factors of 12. Isi circle ko lang ang prime number na. Okay, 2 is already a prime number. So, hindi na tayo maghanap ng another factor for that. So, next, since 6, hindi naman prime number si 6. 6 is a composite number. Bakit? Ang uh, factors of 6 is not just one it's in itself. Meron pa siyang ibang factors. So, for example, 2 multiplied by 3. Okay, pag na-multiply natin 2 times 3, that will give you 6. So, therefore, this is the circle natin. Prime number po si 2, prime number din si 3. Kasi walang ibang factor si 3 kung, ding, kung hindi ang 1 and itself lang. 1 times 3 lang. So, meron na tayo. Ito yung prime factors of... Uh, so, second method na tayo. Ha? So, ito 12. What are the prime factors of uh, 12? We have 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, so let's go and find the prime factors of 15. Prime factors of 15, nang pwede natin multiply. So, let's try 3. 3 is a prime number in circle ka na. So, 3 times 5 is actually 15. 5 is also a prime number. Okay? So, bakit? Wala namang ibang number, wala na ibang factor si 5, kundi 1 in itself lamang. Okay, so, 3 times 5 is uh, factor 15 and both 3 and 5 are prime numbers already. So, ito na yung prime factors ni 15. So, 3 times 5. Okay? So, let's get the least common multiple. So, the LCM, this is for your second method. Sabi na on sa, uh, sa rules natin, write down the common factors only once. Then, write down all the remaining factors. So, ano ba yung common factor dito? So, ang common factor natin is 3. Okay? So, 3 times 3, isusulat natin ito isang beses lang. So, write common factors once. Okay? So, the rest as is. So, 3 times 2 times 2 times 5. And if we're going to multiply this, we'll give you an answer of 60. Okay? So, the least common multiple of uh, 12 and 15 using the second method of uh, finding the prime number or prime factors, I mean, makukuha natin answer ay 60. So, the same pa rin po. So, it's either you use this method, kung sa tingin nyo mas mabilis kayo maghanap ng multiples using yung first method natin. Or if that's sa tingin nyo mas mabilis kayo maghanap ng prime numbers or prime factors of a given number. Okay, and finding the LCM using these rules. So, pwede nyo gamitin either method. Okay, so kung gusto nyo method 1, mas mabilis ka dyan, use method 1. Kung gusto nyo ng method 2, you use method, T, me method 2 natin. Okay, so importante kasi mabilis tayo mag-solve ng mga mathematics uh, problems. 
isosolve kasi very limited pong oras natin pag tayo ay mag-take ng civil service examination. So, ako pag nag-take ako ng exam, usually uh, pumupunta ako, ako ag kaagad sa sa topic kung saan yung strength ko. Okay, so kung magaling ka sa mathematics, diretso ka doon sa math para at least marami ka ng uh, correct answers. Okay? So let's move on with another example. So let's find the least common multiple of 12. Nagawa na natin kanina using your first method. So first method natin is 1 times uh, uh, 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is uh, 36. And 12 times 4 is 48. Let's stop it here. Okay. So then we have the first multiple of uh, uh, 36. Of course, 36 times 1 is 36. 36 times 2 is 72. Okay. So I think we have to stop it here. Bakit? Meron na tayong least common multiple. And that is 36. Okay, mabilis lang for this method. So let's try using the second method. Okay, so still we go back uh, looking for the prime factors of 12. We have 3 times 4. Okay, 3, then we have 2 and 2. So pag ano ko, mabilis na kayo niyan pag nasanay na kayo. So always practice in solving problems like this. So therefore, so step 2, prime factors of uh, 12 is 3 times 2 times 2. How about uh, prime factors of 36? So we have to multiply 6 by 6. That will give us 36. 6 is not the prime number yet. It's a composite number. So we still have to look uh, for factors of 6 that are prime numbers. So here we can multiply 2 times 3. When you multiply this, ang magiging answer natin ay 6. Therefore, 2 and 3 are prime numbers already. Hanggang dito na lang tayo. Next is the same. Okay? So, therefore, the prime factors of 36 is 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. Let's find the least common multiple for this. Okay? Least common multiple. LCM. Okay, sabi natin sa so second step, you write down the common factors only once. So, ano bang common dito? Ito, 3 and 3. You write them as 1. Okay? So, 3 times, dito si 2 and 2. Common sila. Huwag niyong isama yung iba. Okay? So, so, dapat kasi balance. So, 2 and 2, that will give you 2. Next is you have 2 and 2. They are common also. So, 2. Si 3, wala na siyang kapareha. So, you have to put 3 here. So, if you're going to multiply 2 times, uh, 3 times 2, that is 6. 6 times 2 uh, equals to 12. 12 times 3, that is equals to 36. Okay? So, your least common multiple is 36. So, if you have noticed, mabilis lang kasi maliit lang yung mga numbers natin. Okay? So, let's have another exercise, another example using uh, method 1 and method 2. So, let's try 15. So, ano ba yung mga factors or multiples of 15? So, let's try 15 times 1. That is 15. Okay. So, next is 15 times 2. That is uh, 30. 15 times 3. That is 45. 15 uh, times... Uh, 15 times 4, that is 60. 15 times 5, that is 75. 15 times 6, that is 90. 15 times 7, that is 105. If you have noticed, tignan nyo, uh, kinukontinue ko pa rin bakit. Alam ko naman kung ano yung mga multiples of 50. That is 50, 100, 150. So, wala pa tayong natatama na kapareho doon sa magiging multiple ni 150. So, let's continue. So, ilan na tayo? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 15 times 8, that is actually 120. 15 times 9 is 135. And 15 times 10, that is 150. Okay, so let's stop it here. How about 50? Multiples of 50 is 50 times 1 is 50. Okay, 50 times 2 is 100. 
and 50 times 3 is 150. Okay, I'll stop it here because we have the least common multiple, which is 150. So therefore, the least common multiple, multiple of 15 and 50 is 150. So let's try using the second method. So yung second method natin, so sabi natin, you have to get the prime factors of each number. So let's try and get the prime factors of 15. 3 times 5, automatic po. These are prime numbers, therefore, we're done. So we know now that the prime factors of 15 is 3 times 5. Now let's go and find the prime factors of 50. So let's try 5 times 10. Okay, so always try to look for a number that is already a prime number. Okay, so isang factor is a prime number directly kung, kung pwede para mabilis kayo maghanap ng mga prime factors. So 5 is already a prime number and na tayo dyan. 10 is a composite number. So try natin 2 times 5. That will give us 10. 2 is a prime number already and 5 is also a prime number. So we're done. Therefore, uh, the, the prime factors of 50 is we have 5 times 2 times 5. So let's find the least common multiple of this LCM. Sabi natin, you have to uh, write the common factors only once. So let's try 5 here and 5 here. So let's write down 5. Then walang uh, hindi common si 3. So 5 times 3. Hindi din common si 2 times 2 times 5. Okay? So if we are going to multiply this, 5 times 3, that is 15. 15 times 2, that is 30. And 30 times 5 is 150. Okay? So this is your least common multiple when you use your method 2. Okay? So getting the prime factors of that given number. So sa tingin niyo, mabilis kayo dito sa first method, use the first method. And uh, if you know better using the second method, much better. Okay, so but actually I suggest pag malalaki na kasi yung mga numbers, mas mabilis po uh, gumamit po tayo ng uh, method 2. Okay, so mas, mas easier po ito. Pero kung maliliit lang yung numbers, mas mabilis naman si method 1. Okay, so next we still have some example here para at least masanay po tayo. So I still have one last example. Okay. So let's try 23, finding the least common multiple of 23. So if we're going to try and get the common multiple of 23 and 46 using the first method, okay, so 23 times 1 is 23, 23 times 2 is 46, okay, 23 times 3 is 69. Actually, I think I have to stop it here. Why? Because I have noticed meron na tayo 46 dito and the given number here is only 46. Okay? So 46 times 1 is 46. So therefore, our least common multiple of 23 and 46 is actually 46. Okay? So let's use the second method. Okay? So sa tingin natin, mas mahabang second method dito ngayon. So if we are going to use the second method, so, finding the prime factor of 23, uh, actually, 23 is a prime number. Okay? So, prime number po si 23. So, ganyan po. Let's find the prime factors of 46. Okay? Ano pwede natin i-multiply? We can multiply uh, 2 times 23. Okay? 2 times 23 will give you 46. 2 is a prime number and 23, 23, sabi nga natin, 23 is also a prime number. Okay? So, therefore, the prime factors of 23 is 23. Okay? Hindi na natin lalagay si 1. And, of course, the prime factors of 46 is we have 2 and 23. So, let's find the least common multiple using the second method. Sabi natin, you have to write the common factors only once. So, 23 and 23 are common on both sa 23 and 46. So, you have to write it once 
times 2. Hindi walang 2 sa taas. So, you write it as is. Okay? So, if we are going to multiply 23 times 2, that will actually give us an answer of 46. Okay? So, we have the same answer using method 1 and when using method 2. So, I hope you were able to get... Uh, the G's on how to get the least common multiple. Mabilis lang po. But I still suggest you practice. Keep on practicing. Okay? Because the more, uh, the more you practice, the more you get to use on the methods, the more you remember the rules, the more naging, nagiging mabilis kayo mag-compute. Okay? So, I hope you liked our video. Feel free to comment below and please like our videos and do please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.